Hi, I'm here today with Dati Mini Lu, the founder and chief creative director of A Cut Above, who's going to share with us today some tips on how to keep a healthy hair and also about hair ritual. I understand that A Cut Above is the only salon that carries hair ritual products. How did this collaboration came about? Well, we have been in the hair business for a long time and generally in our shop there are a lot of good brands. But something out there we were still looking for a brand which is unique, uniquely different from the rest. And well, I'm sure you know what is the latest thing about hair care is a new skincare. So there we are, we just decided that yes, something great is happening to the market and hair ritual and the collaboration, especially because we become the only salon mm -hmm. in Malaysia having it. So we thought this is just so amazing. So what are your thoughts on hair care is the new skincare? Well, in the market, actually, a lot of people spend lots of money on the face. They can put lots of serum, lots of anything which is fantastic on the face, but they overlook the importance about a good hair care product that is supposed to be uh, using onto their hair and their scalp. Don't forget, the, the hair and the scalp is like an extension of the face, just that because the scalp is covered with hair. So, to, to, to me, I think uh, you, you need just about the right, uh, the right way of handling uh, the, the hair and the scalp. So this is how we feel that uh, when you have a great product, it really helps you to have better hair. But most people will go for the cheaper alternative when it comes to hair care. But so as an expert in the industry, what do you think about that? Well. I think even in, uh, in our cut above, there are all sorts of clients. You can't please everybody. But there is definitely uh, some people, no matter how, they will opt for the cheaper because they think that as long as it's a shampoo, they can clean their hair. So it's really, um, this kind of people, no matter how, you will not be able to influence them. But there will be a set of very elite customers, elite people who will think that hair is the crowning glory. Isn't it important and it's a must to put the best on their scalp? So we look at it that if the market is so big, why do we worry? So there's definitely something for, for someone. Mm. So um, well, the good product is for those who love their hair. Uh, why do you think, like some people, they say, I already use a conditioner, but I don't need, so I don't need to use a hair mask. So what do you think about that? What's the difference between a hair mask and a hair conditioner? Well, if you have very limp hair, very fine hair, sometimes there are cases that a good shampoo is still good enough. You don't even need a conditioner, right? But generally, uh, with the trend these days, most uh, ladies especially, even guys are colouring their hair, they blow dry their hair, they do so much damage to their hair. So, a conditioner is definitely a must. But that's still not good enough if you really do so much uh, damage, so much heat, so much of blow drying and application of all the iron and all the tongs on the fashion these days, you definitely need a mask. Just like the face, the face need a mask, maybe we say, oh, mask your face two, three times a day. So I would definitely encourage my client if they can mask their hair at least two times a week or at least one time a week, that will give them better hair. I see. But what do you think is like the biggest problem for men and women in Malaysia? Like, what's the biggest hair problems that they have? Mm, I think in and Malaysia, I can see on most clients that come to us that the problem is about oily scalp, dandruff, and hair loss. Um, dandruff and hair loss seems to be kind of a big factor in this country now. Because maybe due to stress, uh, lifestyle, I think uh, maybe late nights. Malaysian men especially, they don't mind, they keep saying, oh, it's okay, men can have hair loss. But trust me, when you're only 28 and you don't have hair, I think that is a very sad thing. So all these kind of things, uh, my point of view is, hair is your crowning glory. How can you say it's not important? We have young ladies who tell us that it's okay, I have lots of hair. I said, not anymore when you turn 45. So take care of your hair with a good uh, product, maybe a good habit. So what do you think is a very good hair ritual that everybody can follow? 
Well, good hair, Richard. You ask me for now. Um, I think um, Sisley, Sisley has gone really interesting to have products which is uh, very different. Uh, I mean, I can't overly praise one product. I'm a hairdresser who believes that all products are great in the market. But I think what they have for now is so suitable for many because uh, especially a product that have so fantastic skincare range, they must be really ready to come in to do something great for the scalp and the hair. So I would definitely recommend to those people who have a little bit of a deeper pocket to explore something which is more of a hair care, hair care that is like a skincare to them. So hair ritual is the best. <laughs> well, yeah, I think hair ritual is really fantastic. But well, knowing hair ritual is by the Sisley, I think maybe check it out. I think it's worth finding out. And well, if you want the product only so at the color buff and the counters, you know. So I think we are very honored to be the only group of salon in Malaysia selling it.